Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I'm an office worker at a firm that overworks its employees. I married my wife, Kairi, three years ago. Since then, she's been working hard for our family, but we weren't without our problems, however. Hey, Kairi, I think I might have to sleep over at the office today. Again? Yeah, I don't think I can get everything done by 10, and I think it'll be better if I stay here for tonight. I mean, if you have to, you should, but I'm worried about you. Should I bring you something to eat? No, it's okay. But thanks, though. <sighs> I guess I really shouldn't complain. What do you mean? Um, I made dinner for us, but I guess I'll just have to throw it away if you're not coming home. Wait, you already made dinner for me? Then I'm on my way! What? No, I didn't mean it like that! No, I'll come home. You're working your butt off, too. But you always put me first, and I... I... You're giving me too much credit, but thanks. Get home safe. To be honest, I wanted to quit my current job as soon as possible. But it paid well and the company housing that we lived in was very nice. So I had a hard time making the decision to quit. Hey Ren, bad news. I don't think you can come over tonight. Wait, why not? I told him that I made dinner, but now he's saying that he's coming home to eat it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Sorry, Ren. No, it's all white. Right. He might yell at me again for stepping out of line. What does she mean again? I've never raised my voice at her, ever. What an asshole. He's not all bad. I'm partly to blame for all this. That's not true at all. You've been working so hard without making a fuss. It's his fault for depending on you and your patience too much. I think he's busy? I mean, it might be that he's not very good at his job. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going on a business trip soon, and I want you to come with me. I'll take a few days off after the trip, so we can go sightseeing together. Really? This might be our last and only chance of doing something like this. I'm home! Welcome back! Hiroshi has returned, here at your request. I've come to see you, my queen. Oh, okay. Okay? Anyway, thanks for everything, Kairi. I'm so lucky to have someone that welcomes me back home every day. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about something. What's up? I might be going on a business trip soon. I won't be able to get back for like a week, but are you gonna be okay? Business trip? A week? You? At that moment, I knew something was up. Kyrie never seems to be paying attention to me, and rather, seems to have her eyes set on something, or rather, someone else. And now a business trip? I was immediately convinced that Kyrie was planning on going to the business trip with whoever she was cheating on me with. After these messages, we will continue with how I found out about what had been really going on, and the legal battle that followed. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, are you alone right now? Yep. Wait, I took a couple of days off at the end of the trip. How about you? Yeah, things went more smoothly than I expected. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yep, but I think he might be starting to catch on. What do you think will happen if he finds out? I don't think he'll punch me or anything, but he'll definitely sue me. He's pretty smart and crafty with that sort of stuff, so... Mmm, then we're gonna have to make sure he doesn't find out. Hey, how about we choose a safe word for when he starts figuring things out? A safe word? Yeah, like, for when he tells me to call you in front of him. I mean, hopefully we won't have to use it at all, but... Hmm... How about this? If you want to ask me if I'm alone, you would instead ask me what I had for breakfast. Breakfast? And if I tell you that I skipped breakfast today, then that means I'm alone. And if I say egg toast, then that means my husband is listening to our conversation. Egg toast. Okay, got it. Yep. If I say egg toast, try to act like a co-worker. Feels like we'll spies or something. On the day of their trip, I pulled out my GPS device and voice recorder that I prepared and put it in Kairi's bag before she left. Hey, Hiroshi. I just arrived at my hotel. Nice. How are things going? Things are good so far. Do you have anything you want me to buy? Oh, it's okay. I don't need anything. All I want is evidence that you're cheating on me. Really? I feel kind of bad. Stop acting like you don't know what's going on. I don't know what you have planned, but you will never catch me. I immediately checked the GPS device to see where Kyrie was. So, where are you now, Kyrie? I'm sure you're staying at one of those love hotels. What? The GPS is at my house? For some reason, Kyrie left her bag full of clothes in the closet. Hey, Kyrie. What's up? You said you were going to be gone for a week, but you didn't even bring your bag. Where actually are you? 
Hey, I told you not to look through my closet. Hmm. Now he's looking through my stuff, huh? I guess he really did plant something in that bag. I thought where I was going was going to be pretty cold, so I packed a few coats in the bag, but it turns out it's pretty warm here. So I decided to leave my bag and come here in a t-shirt. No way. But my perfect plan! Oh, that makes sense. Sorry I doubted you. No, it's alright. I'm sorry too for being away for so long. I think he really did have something planted in that bag. Like a voice recorder or something? Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, that was close. The fact he would go out of his way to ask me makes me think that he's got nothing else planned. Well, let's hope that's true. It's alright. We're safe now. You thought you would outsmart me, huh? Well, think again. Hello. Hi. I'm Kairi Odaira's husband. She said she was going on a business trip, but is that true? Oh, so you're Kiari's husband. So, a business trip, right? I thought Kiari told me she was going to take a few days off. So she was lying about the business trip. But I still needed evidence. Do you know of any male workers that are also taking paid leave right now? Hmm, I can't really tell you anything personal about our employees. So you're not denying that there is one? As I said, I can't tell you. Now please leave or I'm going to have to call security. Damn it! Fine! God damn it! So she was just using me all along, huh? But it's not like I have evidence, so... Damn it! This is so frustrating! We might just have to change our name to frustrating text messages from now on. Wait, what am I even saying? Oh right! That voice recorder I bought! That was when I thought of a way to prove that Kyrie was cheating on me, and I decided to take my chances and go through with my plan. That was such an amazing week. It's been a while since I took that long of a break. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But I guess now we have to snap back to reality. Yeah. Let me text him before we go, though. Sure. Hey, honey, I'm almost home. Are you still at work? The stars are so pretty. What? Where are you right now? I don't have anywhere to go. Are you okay? You sound lost. Kyrie, forgive me. It's all over. What's going on, honey? I... I... I quit my job. What? Wait, are you drunk? No, I'm not. I'm sober. I had a massive fight with my boss in the end, but I quit my job. That's right. I risked it all, just to get evidence of Kyrie's affair. I quit my job out of the blue and made them kick me out from the apartment we were in. Wait, what about our room? We were kicked out. We don't have anywhere to go anymore. Um, what should I do then? Should I just come home? No, don't come home. That's not our property anymore. Why don't you stay over at your boyfriend's place? What? What's going on, Kaiwi? He's telling me to stay over at my boyfriend's place. What? Calm yourself, Kyrie. He doesn't have any evidence, even if he knows about our affair. I just have to keep on denying it. Honey, what are you talking about? I don't have a boyfriend. Stop lying to me. I know everything. You're beating yourself up. I know you've been really busy for a while now, so... I'm sorry, I should have known how battered up you were. You think being nice to me is going to change anything? Stop playing with my feelings! I'm never going to trust you again! Is he for real? Fine, we're doing this then. I'm gonna go home for now. Um, are things gonna be okay? I know what he's trying to do. I'm sure he had a personal investigator on me, and he wants to catch me going to your place. Catch us together, you know? So that's what he wants. We should stay away from each other for a bit until things calm down. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Yep, please stay safe. I'm not lying. I'm not having an affair. You're just doubting me because you're mentally unstable right now. I'm coming home, to you. I don't care if we lost our house. Wherever you are is where home is. Damn it! Was I imagining things? No, she's just lying to me again. Stay strong, Hiroshi. You feel me, right? God. I knew this was going to happen eventually. I'm sorry I depended on you so much. But watch! I'm going to work real hard from now on. I'm going to be the one to protect you now. So please, just take a break for a bit. No! Honey, I... Yes, it's working. I'm going to pretend like I'm worried and try to make him feel bad about doubting me. I was wrong. I wasn't being rational. That's what he's going to be thinking when I'm done. And I'm going to make him hand all of his assets to me, and then I'll be in full control. Hmm. I guess you're right. I haven't slept well in a while now. Maybe I was being too sensitive and irrational. Yes! Okay. Then I'm going to come and see you. 
Everything's gonna be alright, so just wait there. Honey, I was so worried about you. If something happened to you, I... Kyrie, was I just imagining things? You've been working non-stop for a while now. No wonder you're so doubtful right now. Is that really it? Hmm. So I was just imagining that you went on a trip with a guy called Ren, right? That was all just in my head? What? Why? How, how, how does he know his name? I don't have any proof, but I've got to get her to confess. Ren? Oh, no, he's just a co-worker of mine. How do you even know his name? Because you've been texting and calling him an awful lot recently. Or was I just imagining that, too? What the hell? But there's no way he knows about everything. I've got to hold my composure. Well, yeah, I mean, I have his number, but I only text him when I have something I need to ask him about work. Really? Of course. Hey, how about I call him right now? Yeah, that would help clear things up. Please, put it on speaker. Okay, but if it turns out that I was right, you owe me an apology. I had egg toast for breakfast. Oh, I'm so glad we chose a safe word. Hello? Oh, hey, Mr. Wren. Sorry to call you so late. Mr. Wen? She never calls me that. Something must be up. No worries. I wasn't doing anything anyway. What's up? I was just wondering what you thought of me. Why is she asking me this? What? Where did that come from? I mean, you're just a colleague to me. Oh yeah, what'd you have for breakfast, by the way? Egg toast. What? I had egg toast. Kaiwi, what's going on? Hello, Ren. I'm Hiroshi, Kairi's husband. Nice to meet you. Kairi already told me everything. Now it's your turn to admit that you were having an affair with my wife. What are you talking about? Wait, what's going on? What, don't tell me that you forgot about the safe word that you decided on? I said egg toast. That can only mean one thing, right? The voice recorder that I have bought was capable of recording sounds for a long period of time. In the instruction manual, it said that the recorder could record continuously for up to five days. So I had tested if that was true or not beforehand. That meant that the recorder had been on for a couple of days by the time Kyrie left for her business trip. Just admit it and apologize. Then I'll just seek damages and that'll be it. If you keep on denying it, I'll go to your office and have you fired! Ren, don't! Uh, I'm so sorry, Soul. Yes, I knew it. I knew you were having an affair. Damn it. What the hell do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Wait, I thought you told him about us already. She hasn't yet. I knew she was having an affair, but I didn't have proof. No! Oh my god, this sucks. Yeah, well try to be in my shoes. I worked my ass off all these years for you, but that's over now. I'm going to sue you for damages soon, so just you wait! You can't be serious! Kaiwi, I know a lot has happened, but I'm glad we're still together. Let's start over from scratch. We can be together as much as you want now! What are you talking about? You really think I was going to stay with you? You ruined my marriage! I lost money, my husband, and my home. What did I do to deserve this? But you were the one that had an affair! But no, you were all like, my feelings for you are too strong. I guess you didn't mean it when you said you would always put me first. Don't make promises if you can't keep them. So, I'm not going to take the lawsuit down, so don't bother asking. I wasn't going to. Then what? How do I handle that monster? Stop running from me. And just like that, I got a divorce from Kyrie. But things were just starting to get worse for her boyfriend, Ren. Apparently, Kairi started going berserk after we got a divorce. Meanwhile, I'm over here kind of happy about finally quitting that horrible job. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!